You don't have any honor, do you? You coward! Yeah, definitely not elite anymore. You don't have. You don't have. Is a bit too early. You don't. Yeah, the U is a bit too early, and the jaw snaps down a bit too quickly and stops. You want to make sure that your jaw down, whatever you have, it's a rotation, right? I'm assuming it's a rotation, doesn't do too much of this. This feels very much like that, and you want to have a bit of a overshoot. It's a bit soft, you know what I mean? You're going to hit some wall there, right there. I can see that linear key right there on 64. You don't have any honor, do you? Do you? Do you? Do you could be a bit lower on the jaw? Do you? Do you? Like a and like a jaw forward, you and kind of a closing of the mouth. Do you? And then do you? And then keep that shape a bit longer. You want to go immediately into this. This was like do you? Like he's really trying to go back into this. You can hold this a bit longer. Do you? Do you? Yeah. You. Yes. You. I think you can see that that corner. Make sure there's an arc that this ends up here too. Coward. It's not just coward. Coward. It's more coward. Coward. It's cool though. It's a little bit funky on your wrists here right now. You have this rotation on both wrists. And I wouldn't actually have that just because like the elbows are not doing anything and the wrists are just doing their own thing. And my thing you were asking in the email, it's just you want to make sure that you know wrists are aligned with forearm uh, and the arms always move in an arc. And whenever you have elbow rotation, any type of you know that like that, that the wrist has to follow. But at the same time, you can't just, if you just do isolated wrist movement, that feels weird. You don't have any honor, do you? It's better. Like this here. If you do a translate like that, you can see how the orientation, the angle changes in the forearm, but then your wrists don't. So if you're doing this and you go up, like your wrists will go up with it. Because that part goes down and this re-angles there. And by the time you're here, same thing. Your rotation, they will be higher up and more this way. So more aligned here. You coward! Ending's great, actually that feels very good. I would just go a bit faster. Coward! Like that is almost like out already. Like it's almost like not that it's like, you know, a hitting type of thing. But just a bit more tension there and energy. Oh. Coward! Just a bit, just a bit. Just to be a bit faster. Alright. Or oh, reduce that dart a little bit. Make sure your lower eyelids go down a little bit. It seems like this guy might be. I'm not quite seeing it. And you have a little bit of brown down, just a little bit. Like you want this to be a bit more fleshy. And right now it feels like it's just a massive dart down with nothing else reacting to it. So you can go, you know, instead of from here to here, you can go from here to here. Wait like a frame or two, and then the next one will be here. So it's kind of a tack tack. So down, down, versus big down, and then that's it. You don't have any honor, do you? You coward! Mm -hmm. You coward! Yeah, super sweet. All right, thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.